Telefan. Welcome to Telefan TV. We are honored here to have Ren Caputo, right? Yeah. From Caputo Brothers Creamery in Spring Haven, Pennsylvania. Spring Grove. Spring Grove, Pennsylvania. So, Ren's here. She's going to show you how to properly pull mozzarella. Of course, we are in the baby stages here at Telefan, but because of her and her dynamic curds from grass-fed milk, we're doing her, her we're doing the mozzarella here at Telefan. We just wanted to have the highest quality, and we do now. She came, she came all the way in town, and uh, she's here to have dinner, of course, which we're honored to. But she's also here. Why we got her? We're gonna have her show you how to make mozzarella. Here we go. Rin, you're on, baby. All right, great. So here we're gonna start with our curd. What's different about this curd is it's cultured. Um, so um, that means that it's actually a real cheese. Most of the curds that you see out there aren't. We're gonna take and. for 180 degree water, not too hot, but right at 180 degrees. You want just enough water that it covers the curds. Give them just a minute in there. Let them warm up a little bit. Now this is hot, so you can work with a cold water bowl if you want to. So I got a little cold water here. Um, this I call my best friend just because it keeps your fingertips cool. Now you take the, the curds up that are Right. When you get hot, you just dip back in your water. And basically, you want to use the pressure of checking like a consistency of um, an avocado, the ripeness of an avocado, just a little slight touch to that. And the heat of the water will just get these to the point where they start to stretch. And basically what we're trying to do here is to melt, with a D, not melt. We want to get all the bumps out. I just need to let that heat up just a little bit. It's not quite ready for me. Again, you got to make sure your water is hot enough when it is. There we go. And we're really starting to pull together. And what we're looking for is a shiny, smooth consistency. And as it gets hot enough, it'll stretch under its own weight. here where I'm nice and stretched. I'm going to let that heat up just a little bit longer. I can tell when the water, when, it's, when the curd's got hot enough because it's, it's got a little resistance to it. There we go. What we're going to do here is we're just going to give that a nice stretch. You make like a C with your fingers and you just push that up Look through that. there. And that makes your nice ball of fresh mozzarella or as they say in Italian, you're the latte, flour of milk. Flour of milk. And I'm going to make the rest of the dish for you. Okay, okay. great. So, we just take the mozzarella ball just like this. We put on a little bit of arugula. We take some sliced pear. Wow. That's great because pears are in season now. It's Perfect. beautiful. Yeah. And then we have some fried artichokes over here. Of our extra virgin olive oil. And so just dig right in. Oh, wow. You're going to be full before you eat. Hey, well, we, we wanted to do something with pears and the mozzarella because they were in season. Oh, it's I know you're going to order I don't know who made this cheese, but it's delicious. <laughs> Really good. There you go. Breaking news. Elephant TV. See you next time. Thanks, friend. Yeah.